Hi, I'm John, and today we have a model, or three models to look at from Atlas. So let's go take a look. All right, so here's what we're looking at today. These are HO scale ACF Colveyor bathtub gondolas. These come from Atlas, and they have an undecorated one for $30.95. And then the rest of the decorated ones range in price from $38.95 up to $39.95. And then they also offer this in a nifty three pack, which is what they sent to me here today to look at. And the three pack is listed at $119.85. Remember these are MSRPs, so you can probably shop around in person or at your favorite online retailer and find them for less. And if you're worried about which paint schemes they come in, your best bet would be to go to Atlas's website and find out if they have the ones you're looking for. Since we have three of these to look at, I figured we'll do a fairly in-depth look at the first one, and then we'll do kind of overviews of the other two, because they're going to be very similar. As you can see from the side view of this, model and has a very consistently applied paint job and all of these markings are legible. Even the smallest stuff down in here is legible with magnification. Also as you're looking you can see that the end ladders are separately applied. Looking at the brake end you can see that the brake wheel and chain detail are separately applied parts. You can also see that this is a body mounted knuckle coupler. And then you can see over here that this ladder is also a freestanding, separately applied part. And here's the AN. I'm showing it this way because you can see that it has a bunch of brake detail. Right? There's nowhere else for the brake system to be on these cars. So they've added all this reservoir, and I think there's a triple valve back in here, to the AN. And because there's nowhere for it under the car, it has to be exposed on the end of the car. It looks really good. It's separately applied, too. I took the coal load out to demonstrate that it is removable. And then this is what the inside of the car looks like. And you'll notice that there's a hole here and another hole over here. And the reason for that is that these cars come with interior bracing detail in a separate package. The models also came with instructions on where to put the bracing inside. I was sort of hinting at this before when I was talking about the fact that there's not a lot of detail on the bottom because all the brake system components are attached to the outside. But you can see from looking at the bottom that the model does come with metal wheels and body mounted knuckle couplers. And something else I noticed when I was pulling these out of the package is that they're pretty heavy. It's because the chassis is actually made out of die cast metal. So they have some good weight to them whether they're loaded or not. So now I'll take a brief look at the green model. As you can see, it's similar detail or lack of detail, if you want to call it that, on the bottom. And you didn't really see what the coal load looks like in the car. This is what it looks like. Now we'll take a brief look at the AN of this greenish colored one. And once again, you can see all of the extra little details there in a separately applied ladder. And a quick look at the brake end reveals separately applied brake and chain detail as well as the ladders and just like the other one. Something that might not have been as obvious on the other one because it was yellow is that these also have conspicuity stripes, which puts them into a more modern era. I believe the conspicuity stripes were mandated in the 1990s sometime. So this is a modern era car. And now it's time to look at the blue one. Once again, you can see the conspicuity stripes and just the paint looks really good on these. I'm enjoying the break in detail on this blue one as well. It's very well done. And the same goes for the AN detail on this one. Looks great. I really like this three pack. It gives people enough variety to have more than just one color of car. So if you're making a unit train, every so often you can throw these in to make it, I don't know, break up the monotony a little bit. I also like the fact that when you remove the coal loads, there's extra detail inside in those little support beams that I showed you. 
So good job, Atlas. I'll see you next time.